Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're playing Unheard. That's right, you heard me right. This is getting confusing, stop before it gets too far. But this video is sponsored by Unheard, so I will thank them for the sponsor, but I'm really excited to play this game. I've seen it on Steam, it keeps popping up for me, and I have been meaning to play it. So I'm really happy to have this sponsor today. Thank you to them, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, now let's get started. So let's get started. Okay, I just said that. Okay, well this is bloody disturbing. She's a cigarette in this small confined space, I would be so uncomfortable. Now, okay, how this game works is basically you're solving a mystery, but it's all through sounds. So it's actually a, a really cool looking game. I'm really excited to jump into this and we'll find out more as we go. Assess your interpretive and deductive skills. I was just about to say she's really relaxing and then this guy started freaking out. Okay, so we get a recording. Play it. I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. I'm guessing this is Amber, because that's the only female that I can hear. Like, Marty isn't a female name, is it? I hope not. <laughs> what drugs, yo? Hey, uh, stay back! <laughs> Tyler, you're getting aggressive right now. Okay, so we can go to a different room, and then- Oh, oh, okay, I'm here, and I just completely listen. Can I follow her? Amber, Amber, <laughs> why aren't you returning my advances? Oh, I thought she was punching me. I was like, fair enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, Amber. Oh, he did say Amber, so that that is Amber. I guess this guy has to be Marty, because his brother's Cameron. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? Oh, okay, so he's not Tyler, he's Cameron. Oh god, I've left the room and they're talking. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, I want to match this guy, come here. God damn it, I can't do it. Get back into the room, I'm missing the entire conversation. I'm just running around the room like I'm so excited that we're solving mysteries together. You want to question him again once his lawyer- Oh god, I left the room again. Lawyer or no lawyer. We've got him. Take that, Cameron. You're shit. We have solved this mystery. Okay, I'm moving to the other room. It's saying that I can solve the other part, so I'm guessing it's gonna let us find out that this is Tyler. Answer. I think I've got it. Who hid the drugs? Oh god, I, don't, I can blame Cameron. He's... It, uh, sh shit. <laughs> I'm not a pretty good detective. Your answer's incorrect? What? Okay, that's it. It's this Tyler guy, isn't it? Or maybe Marty set him up. Oh my god, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna listen to these guys. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Okay. He does sound bitter. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Tyler's the bad guy here. I need to make a phone call anyway. Okay, I'm gonna stay and eavesdrop to his phone call. Come on, Tyler. Who are you calling, huh? He's like, hello, drug dealer. <laughs> yes, I've tricked them. I knew he'd try to blame me, but it's gonna backfire on him this time. Yes. Perfect, we got him. He's going to jail. And I'm getting the business. You know, I'm starting to think this Tyler guy isn't such a good hombre. <laughs> no celebrating yet. Go do what you gotta do. This is quite a good story, actually, because he's trying to frame the other guy, because they're identical twins, which is why they swap names, but Cameron's, like, a few minutes older, so he's the heir, and he wants to be the heir, so he's getting him locked up. It all makes sense. I've got it now. Answer. Uh, Cameron did it. Wait. No, Tyler did it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm forgetting their names already. It's like, Marty did it. <laughs> Marty's like, can we fire this guy already? <laughs> you found the truth. Close the case. All right, that is the tutorial level done. That was awesome. I love that. Made me feel smart, even though I'm really stupid. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think the killer might be in my room. He took some of my hair. <laughs> no, I had to get a haircut. That's okay. That's all right. I'm still the detective I once was. Let's start on the DLC. The lethal script, it's called. My detective intuition says that there might be a murder. Oh my god, I've got so many names to match. Since the day of the deal on Duck Hill, who has had boat chips and in what order? Okay, so I need to match the actor with the role they play and then the deal. Okay, let's find out more. So I'm gonna add in a bit of audio here just to make it a bit easier to watch because I didn't get it at the start because I was figuring it out. But basically, Half the people in the hotel are actors acting out a script for the director that's yet to show up and they're reading it aloud. And then there's a few who are actually bad people who've been involved in this heist to get these two chips. Hopefully that helps you follow along the story. Why do I always get stuck on lookout duty? Oh, I like this guy. This is a big D if I ever saw one. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He just talked about drinking. <sighs> that's definitely me working out. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think this guy's gonna say anything. Unless he goes like, Come on, Big D, you can do it. <laughs> Believe in yourself. <gasps> They're all here. Which studio invested in this convoluted mess anyway? It's a box office bomb waiting to happen. I think this is Logan. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. I'll be here rehearsing with Linda. Okie dokie. Okay, this is Linda. Go like, wow, Big D, you've huge muscles. I love Big D. <laughs> God damn it, just talk to him. I'm just watching him change. Yeah, undress for me. 
<laughs> I love how it sounds. What the fuck, Andy? Is, is that a gun? Andy, gotcha. What, what, do you want a hug or something? I will hug him. Come here, Andy. I, I always feel like I have to poop when I'm nervous. I'm gonna go listen. <laughs> this is creepy. I'm leaving. All right. I'm heading out. What a fat idiot. Wait, what did you say to him? You were rude. Big D is still on the treadmill. I'm convinced that's Big D. I'm waiting at the top of Duck Hill. Oh, on Duck Hill. Who has boat chips? Hey, this place <laughs> is pretty nice. Is Shut up, I'm listening to the scene. Hey, Quinn. Quinn, is this him? Oh. I got a ride from Linda. Oh, that's Quinn. Okay. I don't think we've met. I'm Vincent. That's easy. Thank you, Vincent. You're great. Good thing Lisa and I got to compare notes ahead of Lisa? time. Lisa? Huh? Is this Lisa? Oh. Yes! Lisa, you guys are the best. You're just telling me your names. Andy's still in the bathroom here. Linda's moving around. Andy's just done. Well, he's not done, actually. No, he's, he's going to be in there for a while, I think. I want to know who this guy is. I've just been following him around, and I can't get his name. He's pulling out his gun. He wants us to get out. Help! God, he's really getting into it. Just in the middle of his courtyard in the hotel. Oh my god, more people. Tell me who you are. <laughs> Just walking by like, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. <laughs> that would be a great help. You go east. All right. I go Get west. the call. That's Big D. Wait, go east, go west. That sounds kind of nefarious. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Back out. I gotta see what they're saying. All right. Find them. No, come back. Don't just mumble and swear. Let's check inside before the boss gets here. No mistakes. All right. Oh, we got trouble. Okay, well, the boss isn't here yet anyway. Now they gotta listen to this stupid actor. He's such a dick. He's mean to Andy. And Andy has constipation problems. You should be nice to him. I'm giving up on this guy. He's not saying his name. Don't kill us. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait, they're, they're acting. Phew. <laughs> I think I missed an important uh, conversation here. Hold up. Back up, back up, back up. This is peaceful. Nice little background music. I like it. We've got a problem. I'll tell you when I see you. I think this is Norman. It's a Norman kind of voice. Bill? <gasps> Bill! You tell me, man. And was that May? All right, bye-bye. That was easy. This guy's a dick. I hate him. He's mean to Andy, and he's not saying his name. Slowly. Get down. And put it on the ground. Is this acting or is this actually... I think this is serious. We each take one of the chips and we split the money when we find a buyer. Okay, they're talking about the chips. I need to find out who has both chips. You know why I had my gun out in the gym? Why? That hoodie guy's here. Who's the hoodie guy? Oh, they're gonna kiss. <laughs> oh, must be a nice kiss. Oh god, he's locking him in the feckin' locker. Well, this is Hitman anyway. <laughs> he's just contemplating. What's he doing? Do something. Say something funny. Bor Ragnarok. You know Bill's an idiot. That's why I want you and Logan. Oh, this must be Logan. This is a fucking cliff. How's he gonna jump off it? Oh no, he's gonna push you. Watch out. <laughs> oh, oh me was in on it the whole time. Oh, the second ship. We definitely got our guy. Okay, so this guy has had boat chips. Oh wait, I think different people have had them. I need to track it. I, I need notes or something. Chips, go. Oops. Bye bye to Hoodie Man. Okay. I'm a detective. <laughs> you just see it scrolling on by. All right, let's see. I want to find out about these guys. Blow for a couple days. Then came straight to you. Hello? Is that a gun? What are you doing? We're in Wait, the gym. Did he say his name? Blow for a couple days. Look at past Kevin moving closer, even though it doesn't make a difference. Hello? Idiot. God. God, she talks over him. God damn it. Screw you, Lisa. Okay, I'm no closer. Like, I think Logan's the guy in the locker, but that's it. I gotta go find someone. Now. All right. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll follow this guy. Oh, God, he's sprinting. Come back. I need to know your name. Think that shit's for real? The parts I've overheard are real enough. It's weird. It's like the script is mimicking whatever plot these people are involved in so whoever's written the script is kind of either messing with them or basing like their script on their story who was the one driving the cop car and there's even stuff they don't know about in the script he hit you searched your car and got the chip who was that oh. motherfucker say the name i i know it's the guy in the locker room i'll bring him over say his name say his name say his feckin name joe Wait, what, did he just sneeze? <laughs> He's like, ah, ciao! <laughs> I thought they were gonna say his name and I would have pieced it together. I would have been so happy with my detective skills. Hmm, well, I'm gonna have to find out his name from someone else then. I think it's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. You, me, Dylan, Logan. Who do you think is gonna recognize him? Dylan, Logan. Uh, nobody. 
That's why. Okay, okay. This is coming together. So that that must be Dylan and Logan. Because I'm sure he said Dylan, but Lisa feckin' spoke up above him. She's so rude. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take an executive guess here. All right, I'll start. <clears throat> Boss. Oh, I can't listen to your acting. Hold on, let's let's see what started this conversation. Norm, uh, I mean, boss. Is that his name? Perfect, that was easy. Thank you for being simple for once. Okay, this is where I followed this guy out of the room over to May, so... Let's see afterwards what they say. Oh, that fat slob still shitting and everything I- Leave him alone! He just picks on Andy, I need to know his name so I know who I hate. Chips go bye-bye to Hoodie Man. Oh my god, I thought it was a gunshot. Was that a gunshot? Oh wait, it was. Okay, I thought it was champagne. I thought it was a gunshot, then thought it was champagne. You couldn't let him get out of here alive. Oh no, what's happened out here? Stay where you are. Don't move. Oh god, things are heating up. What's this all about? Uh, we got the script from the director and came here to read it out loud. We don't know anything else. Don't be scared, honey. Let me see the script. Okay, so someone set them up to read this aloud. To spook them, I guess. This guy's right next to the door. He could just run. Or he could be one of the bad guys, I guess. And he's still in the toilet. Is he dead? Or, or is he just extremely constipated? I think Bill might be dead too, you know. Nobody oh. moves or she gets it. Oh god, she's got Tina. You put down your gun first. John, what the hell? Wait, there's always someone behind you. They keep saying that. It's a prick. John! Nice try. He had the prop gun. Okay, that was John. John is dead. Andy's finally on the move. Yay for bowel movement. <laughs> Andy, come out and deal with these people. Oh god, now Tina's dead. And me. Oh, Andy's coming. <laughs> Andy's coming, boys. There's always somebody behind you. <gasps> Aha! Huh? He's doing the scene, you? isn't he? Yeah. Damn right about that. <laughs> Wait. Shit, this thing has a kick. Oh. <laughs> that almost felt like a real gun. He thought it was the prop because they got swapped. I knew he was our hero. I knew it. Okay, play it again. I need to hear it again because I'm missing Leonard, Daniel, and Boss towards the end. I guess this is the boss that comes in with Tina. So this guy, I cannot find out who he is. So I think he's going to be the last one left. This one talking with Linda, I need to find out. It's so cool to finally meet you. I'm definitely a fan. She doesn't know who she is. She's probably in like a commercial for laxatives or something. <laughs> I think May is just fishing for information. Sure. Can't make you wait. But who is you? You want to start here, Dan? Sure. Dan, got him. Got him. Perfect. All right. That, that fecker that wasn't giving away his name is Leonard then. Where is he? Leonard, you shit. All right. Got everyone. Okay. Now I need to track who is the chips. So since the day of the deal on Duck Hill, who has both chips and in what order? Logan, I believe. No... Logan die. I think Dylan take from Logan. <laughs> then bad man take from Dylan. I'm not a good detective. <laughs> okay, I think I need to find out from Dylan. Is he working the front desk? Okay, I think they've like taken over the hotel, but they don't actually work here. Or maybe they do work here and this is a cover. Or maybe they do work here and it's just like a gang. <laughs> they committed this big crime. I don't know. All right, Dylan, I think you have the chips. So I I'm going to just follow you if you don't mind. I think Norman may be involved in this thing too. Oh, here comes Big D. <laughs> I think Norman might be the one to die. Is he? Maybe? I don't know. What is it? The chip. Okay. How much? The chip. Five yes. million. Finally. Stay right here. I'll get the goods. Uh-huh. Okay, that was an awkward silence. Okay, come Blood on, Dylan, all show over me. Our cards. Shut up, Leonard, I hate you. Stop making fun of Andy. Okay, so this is kind of linking together. I think Dylan has them, or Logan has them at the moment. I, I don't know. I think Logan might have them, and then Dylan kills him and gets them, and then they kill Dylan on the balcony. Okay, and then someone else gets them. We had a deal. We each take one of the chips, and we split the money when we find a buyer. Okay, so Dylan and Logan each have one. Can I can I add a comment here? This is important. Great video, Kevin. You're the best. Oh wait, no, that's what you're supposed to comment. Okay, um, Dylan has one and Logan has one. Remember what I said when I shot him instead and saved your skin? It's so cool the way the story links in with the script. I'm a fan of this. Because I was really confused at the start why the actors and the bad people were talking about the same thing. But, like, I didn't realize they were reading from a script or anything. I was just getting bits and pieces. I was like, what? But I'm getting it. It's cool the way it all folds together. Wait, I gotta see what happens here, because I think Bill gets killed by May. You! 
the glass. Oh, he, he got poisoned. Okay, so he was dead. I was wondering why he was just chilling over there. All right, back to the actual story here. Okay, so now Dylan has both. Dylan has both. It's cool the way it goes where like it uh, was typed as well. That's that's pretty nifty. Okay, and then John kills him. Uh, bingo. The chip. I thought he had two. Oh, the second chip. Okay, yes, he has two. <laughs> Great. I just don't know who has the chips. Like, if they've one each or if May has it all. I think May has it all. I, th I think May has them both, so I'm going to follow her. I'm staring at the name John for so long, it doesn't look like a name anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> it's looking really weird. While they search me, I take Tina hostage, and you shoot Big D from behind while he's distracted. All right. Gotcha. Oh, this is all making sense now. Okay, so because they were killing the guy up here, uh, Dylan, and he had a gun on him that he got in the dressing room, which was a prop. And then when they were taking the gun off him, they said that you take that one and I'll keep mine. But I thought they may have been talking about the chips, but no, they were talking about the gun. And that's why when he goes to shoot the boss that it's a prop. Okay, all linking together. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, I think I think we got it right here. Uh, wait, I gotta see our hero kill again. Behind you. Aha! I love that he says the line from the script. And then Andy's like, yes, we're mid-script. I know my next line. Shit, this thing has a kick. That almost felt like a real gun. I like how he shot him like that and there's like numerous bodies around and he doesn't even realize that maybe something is going down here. Okay, so Dylan and Logan have one each. Then Dylan has both. And then May has both. I think I'm ready. Please don't... I didn't even do the first part. I didn't know I was supposed to match the actor with the role they play. I wasn't listening for that. Shit! Feck, I wasn't listening for that at all! Who has both chips and in what order? But uh, there's, no, there's no option to separate them. So I guess it's either Logan or Dylan. And Dylan kills Logan, so Logan must have both of them. Logan, Dylan, and May. All names marked correctly. You need to answer all two questions right now. None of them are correct. <laughs> Problems getting my head around multiple things happening at the same time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Trust me. There are two chips. A set. I think Quinn is playing Bill just because he's mimicking his voice. I should keep both for your own good. Okay, fine. Okay, so whoever got the chips initially, it was a female. This is tough. I think it might be Tina or maybe uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to pile it on. Why do I always get stuck with the morons? Yeah, he's definitely playing Bill. They're making fun of him being a moron. I'm gonna let you practice while I go see if those two have changed yet. All right. See you in a minute. Okay. This could be May. Oh, hey. Yeah, that is definitely May. So Linda's playing May. Wait, and I think Andy was saying he was the guy behind... Okay, I, I think I get it. I think I know who Andy might be. I think he might be Dylan or Logan. I think Logan. Yeah, damn right about that. Kablamo! Okay, yeah, he is he is Dylan. I remember them talking about that, but we're just gonna make sure. Remember what I said when I shot him instead and saved your skin? You said, yeah, damn right about that. Yes. Okay. Andy plays Logan. Not the casting I would have made. Andy seems a bit, you know, of a bill. <laughs> I think Norman's playing the boss. I think I heard it back at the reception, actually. We're here, Norman. Uh Boss. Norman. Boss. Okay, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Maybe that's why the guy got him to sit down in the room, he thought he was the actual boss, but he was actually just an actor, just like, why am I here? <laughs> he just left him alone in that room for so long. Okay, we've got four. How many people do we have? Oh wait, this is actually right, so I just need to get four more people, that's not too bad. I think there's four females, so that means Lisa should be Tina. That's another one. That hint is wrong, <laughs> get rid of it, past Kevin's an idiot. I think Vincent might be Big D, but I'm not confident enough to guess it. Okay, who got shot? I need to follow where Logan goes because I think he follows whoever gets shot. Wait, no, he thinks the actor is the one. Oh my god, this gets so confusing. <laughs> okay, I think this may even get more complicated. I think that Big D, I'm finding out through his actor, which I think is Daniel, I think Big D took the chips. Then something messed up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's not Big D. It's getting confusing. It's my little brother, Jake, so we should be good. But... I've got to give him a cut, so... Okay, yeah, 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 That that's John. Because John's brother dies. So Daniel plays John. I don't know anything else about him, just that his brother dies and he gets really angry. So now I just need to find out who plays Big D and that... And who else? 
Dylan. Okay, Big D and Dylan. And that leaves Leonard and, and Vincent. Vincent is talking a lot with Lisa, who apparently they're having an affair with. So, yeah, because Lisa is Tina. So I'm pretty sure Vincent is Big D. And that leaves Leonard being Dylan. You can tell I'm confident in what I'm saying. Yes, okay, that is correct. Okay, awesome. Now I just need to figure out where the chip started from and then who has it in the hotel and i think i have an idea already okay why did may kill bill because he found out from the actors that it was may who did the bad i bet you <coughs> the glass bitch okay so may bad god damn it this is getting confusing you know why i had my gun out in the gym why that hoodie guy's here. Okay, I, th I think I've got it. Yeah, Logan has it up to this point, but he didn't originally have it. So I think May originally betrayed them, and John then took the chips off her, and then they gave them to Dylan, and then they get betrayed again when he, he gets pushed off the ledge, and then May has the chips again. Yes! Close the case! I'm a genius, and wasn't just taking stabs in the dark at all. Oh, here we go. A little summary. You don't feel like Five mil after all. So you'll make me hand over the chip at some point. Oh, he also told me there are two chips, a set, and he wants each of us to take one, just to be safe. Safe with you. Right. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. It's not like I volunteer. Problem is, you lose things all the fucking time. What are we supposed to do if you lose this? I should keep both for your own good. Okay, fine. I think that's best. I check out the chip and one says, well, where's the money? Right here. Go. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Hand over the chip and nobody gets hurt. All right, all right, take it. Just don't, don't kill us. All right, like you didn't bring your gun to the chip. We had a deal. We each take one of the chips and split the money when we find a buyer. Did you forget that? Forget? Oh, no, no, no. I figured out it's more money for me if I don't have to split it. Let's see. Uh -huh. Bingo! The chip! What's this? Oh, the second chip! We definitely got our guy! Oh, and then there's another question where you can say, what is the sequence of people who had the actual real gun? And it brings it right out to the end where Big D is actually dead. That's so cool. All right, well, I'm not going to do that because it took me long enough to do the other ones. But if you want to get the game, you can try and do it yourself. Do tell me the answer. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out the game, there'll be a link in the description. It's really fun. It's really unique. It takes a lot of concentration and uh, not being stupid and forgetting one of your goals. <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Unheard, for the sponsor. Really appreciate it. Helps out the channel a lot. And thank you for watching. Appreciate you as always. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.